All right, guys, it's uh, Whiskey Sierra Mata here. So most of you, if not all of you, have heard by now that uh, my main Facebook page has been hacked and taken over by apparently somebody from a uh, Spanish country, um, for Spanish-speaking country. Um, don't really know exactly what happened. I got a notification on the 3rd from Facebook and the website that the uh, notification linked to was completely legitimate looking. It was a Meta address, Meta Facebook, Instagram, all that. And then clicked on it, realized, oh shit, this is not legit. Tried to get out of it. Too late. Um, it um, Sometimes my phone's IP address will show Nashville, Tennessee, even though I don't live anywhere near it. So, Instagram had a login from Nashville, and um, Facebook had a login from Nashville. And like I said, sometimes if I log in my phone, it'll say Nashville, even though for some reason I'm like, I live like five hours from Nashville. So, I didn't think nothing of it. And next thing I know, everything I've got has gone. Instagram's gone. Whoever took my Instagram, changed the email, phone number, password the username, and the profile picture. Um, and then... Um, my personal Facebook page was disabled by Facebook. And I've had that account for 13 years. Since 2009. And that... Um, Yeah, that Facebook had, well, the last 13 years of my life on it, you know. Like, um, my engagement, my get, me getting married, us, ha us having our daughter in the first three years of her life were on there. All the pictures, all the memories. Um, the memories that I have of my dad that, you know, he's not here anymore. Same with my grandmother, she's not here anymore. You know, all that shit's fucking gone. Gone for forever, pardon my language. Can't get it back. Um, I have sent every request, report, everything under the sun to Facebook that I know to do. Um, there's a way to report hacking on Instagram. And it'll bring you to a page. It'll say, okay, report hacking here. And you'll click, it'll say report hacking. Okay, cool. So I click on that. It says report hacking. You click on it, and it brings you back to the first page to say, okay, click here to report hacking. It'll bring you to a prompt. It'll say, enter your username. So I'll enter what he changed it to, the hacker changed it to. And it'll just take you back to the first page I was on. I'm like, it's pointless. Facebook support is, is just an absolute uh, joke. Uh, they have zero phone support. Why I even bother to have a phone number? I don't know. I even clicked on, like, or well, not clicked on, but, you know, when you call them, you get a prompt for law enforcement. Um, press number two. So I clicked, or press number two. Um, I don't know why I'm getting clicked and pressed and mixed up today, but anyway. So I press two. It says, we offer no phone support. And I'm like, well, that's weird. So what if a, a police officer is investigating a, well, we'll say a crime against a minor, and they go and try and get a hold of somebody at Facebook, and they can't because they don't have phone support. And with, you know, accounts getting hacked, there's literally nothing. Like, Facebook is an absolute joke. I've even, like, so much as when, uh, like, and I made my new account, which I'll link uh, down below, I went so far as to report the original page um, for intellectual property. And I've done that like three or four times. Nothing. Everybody else has reported it. Nothing. Whoever, apparently, that's hacked and taken control of my page, I was smart enough to not only remove me, uh, the owner, but they also removed one of my admins. And now they've been spamming my original page with... 
random stuff that makes zero sense. It's all in Spanish, but my computer automatically translates any, it translates any kind of uh, language the way I've got my Chrome set up. So it it's just like apparently whoever it was was mad at their ex and decided to, you know, take over some Facebook accounts. Uh, especially the uh, basically the uh, conclusion that I've drawn from it. Yeah, you know, it's whatever. It, it, it's a it's a a page where I, I posted the mods and modding and all that. You know, but at the same time, I spent um, a good part of three years building that website. You know, it just started as a hobby, and then I was like, well, I'll make a website, and I'll just release, or make a Facebook page, rather, and I'll just release some, some mods on it when I, when I finish them, and, you know, that turned into a page with, um, 8,000 followers, almost, or nearly 8,000 followers, and, um, my own actual website, a Patreon, a YouTube, um, a TikTok at one time, and I I switched to what I was doing to, to on TikTok to other stuff. But you know, it turned into this mass social media following. All these people are were always interacting with my posts and talking to me, and people that were fans. And you know, it started out just like yeah, whatever, and, that, and then it it blossomed into something something kind of big. Like I. You know, I never really expected it to get to where it was. And I th the, the part that hurts the most is that I have to start all over from fucking scratch. I have to start completely over. And Facebook doesn't give a shit. I mean, you know, they're a multi-billion dollar a year company, whatever, and Mark Zuckerberg's rich and, you know, he don't care. And I, I get that, you know, it's a free app. They they don't have to offer any support if they don't want to, uh, but at the same time, if someone has committed a crime like computer trespass, because hacking is technically computer trespassing, that's a crime. You know there should be a way to get around that. Now whether they're in a foreign country, or whether they're in Nashville, I, or whether they're next door to me, I don't care. There still should be a way to report that and have it act ac accurately reported. And be like, hey. Some idiot got my account disabled and also booted me from my own business page, is what technically what Facebook classified it as. Is there not anything that I can do to remedy this? And there's literally zero solutions. There's nothing. So if anybody from Facebook sees this, y'all suck. And I hope, putting this as nicely as possible, I hope you never have a cool side of a pillow. I hope both sides of your pillow are always hot, and I hope your house needs never the right temperature ever again, because y'all have terrible support. Absolutely terrible. I mean, it's just, it's... The, the fact that you can have an account, for instance, my personal Facebook page, you can have an account for 13 years, some asshole hacks it, everything, all your pictures, your memories, every conversation you ever had with anybody, Anything you ever shared, it's gone. It's gone forever, and you'll never get it back. You can download your files or whatever, but the only thing you get when you do that, when they disable your account, is you get your profile pictures. You get shit else. Just your profile pictures. So yeah, it's uh it's been a it's been a rough past couple of days because of that, because it's just I've had to um I've had to realize that you know, that, 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 all that's gone, the, you know, Whiskey Sierra Modding, the original Facebook page, it's gone, I'll never get it back, the page that I had since 2009, since I was, you know, 19 years old, um, so literally from when I was, like, starting my 20s to now in my 30s, all of that, all that's gone, you know, when I, like, everything, every memory that I've had in my life back when we were dating, that's all gone. And in a way, you know, it's kind of humbling because it shows you just how much, of a, as a society, we rely on social media. Um, but also, too, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty shitty. And it's, uh, it's pretty shitty that 
Facebook <clears throat> doesn't care and they have no way of um, really contacting anybody. You can't speak to an actual person at Facebook. I know that if I was on the phone within five to ten minutes with somebody, I could probably have my accounts back. But you can't speak to a human. You can't email a human. You can't talk to a human on the phone. You can't chat with a human. You can chat with a bot on their on their Facebook page, on Facebook's Facebook page. But that's all you can do. So basically, you're shit out of luck. If you get hacked with Facebook, you're done. So my word of advice is don't click on anything. If you see a weird notification that you've never seen before, report that shit. And I also reported it after I realized what it was, and it didn't do no damn good. I still got hacked anyway. So, that's where we're at. Uh, so, anyway, as far as, like, good news, um, I finally got the update to the New Holland Forge Cruiser out on all platforms. Um, so, go to Mod Hub and, and download that. Um, I did make a new Facebook page. I, like I said, I've had to start over from scratch, and it's it sucks. God, it sucks. So, when you get on Facebook, and I'll I'll put the link in the description below. But the um, the page is it's still it's still Whiskey Sierra modding. It's a different cover photo, same same profile picture. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have seven thousand followers, but whatever. Um, hopefully, we'll get back there one one of these days. But uh, Anywho, that link is, you know, you type in facebook.com slash the real whiskey Sarah Modding. That's my my new page. So uh go give that a like and a follow and interact with me and check out all of our other social links and uh subscribe here on Facebook and or not Facebook, YouTube. And maybe one day I'll get my old page back. Most likely I won't. Whatever. We'll just start over and just roll with it. Anyway, we'll see you guys.